Hopi Kachinas. Kachina cults are possibly the oldest continuing healing and horticultural societies in the Northern Hemisphere. More than 300 Kachina spirits inhabit the sacred San Francisco peaks north of Flagstaff in Northwestern Arizona. With prayers and ceremonies, the Hopi beseech these supernatural beings to live with them in their villages from winter solstice until summer solstice and to enhance their crop, work, and health. The Kachinas work with the Hopi people to secure their vital life needs and the people strive to achieve personal balance, harmony, between themselves and their family, clan, friends, and villages, as well as with the natural and supernatural worlds. This is the Hopi way. The great pantheon of Hopi Kachinas takes many awesome forms. From the sacred corn mother, and soil kachina, to various vegetables, birds, animals, demons, and ogres. Each spirit being plays a vital role. They are often joined by raucous clowns and mudheads who diffuse tension and tease the crowds during rituals, teaching through their misbehavior, like coyote, who is wisdom and fully. Inspired by these spirits, men and women in the Kachina societies carry out the rituals and ceremonies as masked, costumed human forms of the Kachinas. Before the ceremonies, they prepare the Kiva, carve and paint the fantastic Kachina masks and tablitas, the headdresses, dance sticks, prayer sticks, and other items, medicine bags. They weave their dance kilts and their sashes. So everything is handmade <clears throat> with heart intentions. The Hopi also represent their sacred guardian spirits in carved wooden dolls, infused with the supernatural's energies and blessings. They carve pieces of cottonwood root, which beavers love, <laughs> into these unique Kachina beings, adding arms, legs, beaks, ears, horns, rattles, and even bits of turquoise shell, coral, and feathers. During some of the rituals, the Kachina dancers wear small Kachina dolls dangling from their wrists and fingers. And these dolls they present to the Hopi children as gifts and reminders of the future roles they will undertake pretty big responsibility. <sighs> Many Kachina dolls are remarkable pieces of art displayed in some of the finest museums and private collections in the world. As dancers, dolls, spirit messengers, and sources of supernatural blessings, the Kachina come to life in Hopi ceremonies during the first half of the year, returning to their spiritual homes in the mountains in late July. Mm. Kachinas are the intermediaries between the Hopi and the rain people and other vital spirits. Although they are more than a hundred miles away, people in most Hopi villages can see the volcanic peaks of the mountains. They know that the Kachinas are doing the, their work 
when the storm clouds build over the peaks and drift eastward, filled with the showers to pour their parched fields and orchards. Hopi Kachinas. Kachina, Kachina, Kachina. Aho.